Hi everyone, Mike Newfound passed in a mad dash to get everything organized. <laughs> I was pulling orders and everything. We had, uh, let me see, I think we had seven total orders yesterday, so really good day. Uh, mostly small stuff, but hey, it's good stuff. You know, gotta sell stuff. Uh, we had three on our main eBay account. We had two on our second eBay account, so that's five. And we had one on Amazon and one on Poshmark. So seven so that was a really good day i love i was hoping to get one on mercari so it'd be like a well-rounded everything you know i sold on every uh, avenue that i do sell on so but i'm live right yeah i'm live. okay uh, yeah i was pulling orders and we're going to get those packaged up and everything i'm trying to pull up my uh over on this other tab here i was trying to pull up my uh have an e yeah, my cloud email or i don't know forget the password so when I mean Poshmark emails you the label and I forgot to forward it to myself off my uh, phone and I didn't bring my phone down with me of course so, but anyway I can get to it later I can still show you what sold on Poshmark because Poshmark is easy because you literally print out the label and stick it on the box so I can have the box already and uh, just come and print out the label later let me see here so what do we got here first to make sure I got all this stuff I got these three pulled and over here Okay, I gotta uh, get, yeah, there's a shirt I gotta get out of a bin, and this mug over here, let me see, Saturday morning, go ahead and package up and get it out, because why not, okay, let me see here, pull up this, okay, this one didn't sell for much, but this is a, just a wee mu. Skylander superchargers. The Skylander stuff doesn't sell for much in general. But we got that. We're going to get it packaged up. Got a good story about an item to tell here in a little bit. Once we get to it. Okay. I'm going to bring some more paper towels down. I'm using all my paper towels up. This is probably definitely over a pound. I'm gonna, yeah, one pound, 13 ounces. So it's gonna be in like a 10.97 box or something along those lines. I should have grabbed that and took it with me. Yeah. Oh, I did have a little paper towel thing here. Ba dum dum. Brain farts every day. Yeah, that'll fit perfectly in this priority mailbox the uh 1095 box I have a little gap in the side here I'll uh, give it a little bit of something A little bit of paper down the side so it don't just not able to move around tremendously in there. It's probably I mean it's not gonna break, but still wanna be safe. Two pounds, five ounces. Let's see here. It's on our main eBay account. So everybody's sleeping in on a Saturday morning. <laughs> this one is about a 16 by 13 three. This is going to Pennsylvania, $7.98. Yep. So not a lot of profit in this. I, can't, I think I've got this as a part of a video game buyout I did. So I don't have hardly anything in it, next to nothing really. All right, first one down. Okay, so hang on. Come on. I know what you did. Dog snuck down here. 
the next item we have um, let me see here and this catitudes figure sold and for not much you know this is the last one I had like five of them this is the last one when I went to pull it out of the bin broken so I guess the pro tip of the day is when something like this happens, obviously you're just going to cancel the order and refund their money, but there's a way you should do it. And the way you should do it is don't just go in and cancel it because it'll get a strike against your account for being out of stock or dam damage. What you do message the buyer and even take a picture and send it to them. Hang on. Well, the Friday's already in here. Okay. Wife brought me some coffee. Okay, so this was damaged. You don't just cancel it. Message the buyer going, you know, if you even send them a picture and say, when I went to pull this out of my bins, I'm sorry it was damaged, you know, and uh, can I with your permission, I'd like to cancel the order and give you an immediate refund. If you get their permission to cancel the item, you know, by requested cancellation, you don't get a strike against you. So that's what I'm going to do today. So here, let me get some paper towels here. Sorry, I got the part of having cats is uh, dealing with cat vomit. <laughs> the realities of real life. And the bad thing, of, I mean, clean it up, it's not that big of a deal, but dogs love cat vomit, so i got to clean it up pretty much immediately. Hairballs. Alright, that quick. So, yeah, message the buyer, get that done. So, and we just sold something else. Some jeans. Awesome. Okay, so next up is this Franklin page mark dictionary thing. You know, I don't. I pick these up quite frequently. They don't sell for a lot, but usually I pick them up for just a buck or two because they're old tech and pretty much these uh, stores and stuff know you can't get much out of them. This is going to West Virginia. Just throw this one in a padded mailer. This should be first class. Yeah, it's only a six ounces. Six ounces. dollars and 23 cents done and done so yeah really good day yesterday i've been listing every day i'll list again today i probably only list five items today it's usually my minimum uh, to list my list is five items and uh i'll definitely list up five items today five items will only take me you know it all depends on what i'm listing but it usually only takes me uh you know 30 45 minutes at the most Look, if I'm having to clean coffee mugs and all that stuff, it takes a little bit longer. Okay, what's next? Hey, what's up, Tom? Oh, well, Tom, I didn't know you live in Kansas City. That's where I had one of my stores. I still have family. We was playing games online with some family that lived in Kansas City last night. So, I was in Kansas City all the time when we lived in Missouri. But, yeah, what's up, man? What's up, Glenn? Yeah, I could ask him, Glenn, but... uh I'm, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to mess, message them regardless, and they, they say they still want it, I will glue it. But in my experience, 99% of the time, they uh, just want to cancel the order. But I will give them the option. That's a good heads up. Uh, let me see here. Should be your next item. So we have, I just sold, like I said, a pair of jeans. I got to go find those. Don't have those pulled. So let's move over to our second account. We do have this mug. Okay. It's right here. 
I had two of these and one's already sold and this is the last one this apple little travel mug it's not that big it's only like six inches tall yeah 10 years of iphone i picked these up for just a buck or two let's see if we can get that first class get it out of here smallest box possible yeah, it's hopefully a six I wonder if I have a six by four by two box. I think I do. I got an eight by six by four, that's for sure. Eight by seven. Let's check the weight on this. An eight by six by four. So I definitely want this, for what this sold for, I definitely want it to go first class and this should be fine. things feel chaotic in your head and I think what days when I have those days is when like this morning I've had a migraine but I already took my meds and took care of it and uh but on that, those days when I have migraines everything seems chaotic and sped up it's just weird I know it's <laughs> this I know this is going to California so I definitely want it under a, a pound and like I said this sold for pretty cheap yeah, 13 ounces And seventy cents. Got this fine. Good morning, Melissa and Randy. What's up? Thank you for popping in. We're just packing up some Eve. I sold five things on eBay. I sold, and I just sold another one. It just came through, so six. I sold one on Amazon and one on Poshmark. We're getting those packed up and ready to go. Because why not? Third one down. Okay, so gotta pop up to my Amazon page here. Hello Jennifer, thank you for popping in. We're we're shipping stuff out. I'm about, I've shipped a few things off of a uh, eBay so far I'm about to pull up Amazon when I was testing video games and stuff the other day um, I was basically testing game cubes I had and I was able to put together one complete system I have two others that just need controllers and um, when I was checking comparables prices and stuff on game cubes on eBay, on eBay, it seemed like they were going for about 50 bucks with just the unit, the AV cord, the power cord, and one controller, no memory card or anything, about 50 bucks or so. Over on uh, Amazon, they were selling for 80 to 90 dollars. I mean, the fees are higher on Amazon, but the sales velocity on Amazon is much higher. And this proved it. I listed, I listed this, and it sold in less than a day. On Amazon for uh, 80 bucks and uh, I mean they only gave me four dollars to ship the thing but uh, I know it's gonna cost more than that but that was a trade I was willing to make so let's get this packaged up I, got some, I do have the uh, AV cables and the cords all bundled up you know nice and tidy and everything but we're going to uh, We're gonna go ahead and bag these up too, just to be super tidy. Got some. I use one for the uh, AV cord. Just 
just a little bit more professional, you know. It looks more like professionally refurbished. We've got some bigger bags. The power supply is a little bit too big for that 6x9. I'll need one for the controller too. Give me just a second. I got them right out here. some eight by tens and I got some nine by twelve so eight by ten should be fine mm, I see that and I'm like hey, I don't know darn power supply Okay, there it goes. It was fighting me a little bit, but I got it. Have one of those days. Notice that on days I have migraines too. I'm a little bit, maybe it's the medication, but a little bit shaky. <laughs> I feel fine after I take my meds. Like maybe a little bit of residual, but not bad. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, controller in one as well. Get our the purple, the indigo, or whatever they call it, controller to go with the indigo GameCube. Like I said, just this next level of tidiness. Now, what size box? The next part of the assessment, what size box? Of course, I'm going to wrap this GameCube itself up in some bubble wrap. Grab. I'm hoping, I mean, that, um, I mean, this, this is obviously going to be priority mail. And the other thing you want to do for Amazon too, you don't have to, it's not, I don't get too bent out of shape, but I try not to use eBay branded stuff on my Amazon packages. Like I have the tape and I have the boxes. I'm just going to use regular priority mail box, and I do have a roll of regular tape laying around here somewhere. Regular clear tape. Got my bubble wrap. Hopefully, I have enough on this row. I got some more up there. I just. This GameCube wasn't perfect cosmetically, which I denoted in the listing. I just listed it as acceptable, but it worked perfectly. I tested it with the Simpsons game I have. I always keep a GameCube game, and it's this one, the Simpsons Hit and Run. It's kind of fun. I'll play it a little while, you know, have a little fun while I'm testing. But I always have that land there. And like I have for my Xbox, I have Simpsons Road Rage. <laughs> I think they like the Simpsons, right? Just my testers. Okay. My scissors. I have another tape dispenser that I have another tape dispenser to put this on the green one, but that's the one that gave me stitches, so I'm kind of avoiding avoiding using it. Only time I ever had stitches in my life was from a tape dispenser. That tape got all out of whack. Don't you hate it when it does that? I think that was before I was doing videos too, like right before I was doing videos where I whacked the tape dispenser and gave myself stitches in my pinky. That made a good video. Everybody likes people seeing people injure themselves. Oh, come on, tape. This tape, I got it on clearance at Walmart and it was the worst cheapest I mean it's still duck brand tape but it's just awful tape 
just trying to use it up. Just awful tape. Okay. Moving on. Another couple. I pack this stuff. I mean, somebody paid eighty bucks for this. I'm gonna pack it well. And you know, people are pretty serious about their video games. So, all right. So now we gotta find the box we're gonna use. Like I said, I try to avoid the eBay boxes. Let's take a pull here. My wife made this awesome coffee. <laughs> Hobbs is, there's a bathroom right behind us here. Hobbs is in there yelling. Oh, I don't know if I said good morning, Randy. What's up, brother? And Jennifer, Melissa, rummage, uh, rummage for riches. That's awesome. I like that. Okay. <laughs> the live I did yesterday was a bunch of people but people are probably sleeping in today so uh so i think let me see here let's do some little bit of measuring just see because i know this is small this is about eight by six by five but we got all the power cords and the controllers too eight by six by five maybe a little extra padding i don't know if a 12 by 12 by eight's overkill but it may be our best bet I guess the other thing I need to consider is the other thing I need to consider is where is this going? It is going to Pennsylvania. Perfect. Pennsylvania will not be that expensive. So let's go by 12 by 12 by 8. Priority mailbox is one of my favorite boxes. This one and the seven by seven by six in the shoe box size and this yeah, that's my <laughs> along with the you know the ten ninety five and ten ninety seven. I use so many of those. The mailman is used to dropping off supplies. Okay, we got that side. I am going to layer this with paper as well. bags and one of my neighbors throwing that threw out and there was like four of these just full of clean packing paper that I picked up just from a neighbor they had set out for the trash that's it that's like a free 25 35 bucks reduce reuse recycle I'll put the, the GameCube in the middle and I'll put the cords and stuff all around it. It's kind of like a little extra layer of protection. And then, of course, more paper. Moss paper. People are going... You know, we already talked about puzzles and video game stuff, but people are really going stir crazy and buying up everything. People still have a little money, so get the old shake test and it's fine. All right, we're almost there with this one. I'm gonna go all the way around. Just cause I don't trust this tape. Oh, 
all the way around a couple of times. Alright, probably overkill, but like I said, this tape is just awful. I don't trust it. But when you put that much on it, it'll be fine. What do we got here? 5 pounds, 13 ounces. 5 pounds, 13 ounces. Like I said, since this is going to Pennsylvania, it should not be too terribly expensive. Well, priority mail 815, so not bad. I am going to go ahead and do, uh, man, I'm on the borderline about doing, what, what do you guys think? How many people have in here? Do you guys think I should do signature confirmation on an $80 GameCube? Is there, <laughs> uh, especially in this pandemic Oh, what's up, Dan? I didn't even see you there. Sorry about that, brother. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do a signature confirmation or not. It's only a couple bucks. <sighs> and does it matter with Amazon anyway? This shows you how much I sell on Amazon, which, I mean, I sell a little bit of stuff, but usually it's not expensive stuff, you know, bumping $100 stuff. Um, with Amazon, does signature confirmation even make a difference like it does on eBay? I don't know. So... Yeah, no sig. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Thank you for uh, chiming in, Uncle Warren. Appreciate that. So yeah, I'm just gonna do straight priority mail. Eight dollars and fifteen cents. Done. Probably just someone wanting to play some video games. Hobbs, what are you yelling at? Yes. Amazon. Right. It's four down. We already talked about the broken one. I got a couple more orders I got to pull here. Amazon one is done. Let me see what else I got to pull here. I got to pull a t-shirt. I'm definitely going to go get that one because I want you guys to see that one. And the uh, Poshmark order. Okay, so I got two more. Oh, and the one that just came through. <laughs> Duh, I just sold one. Um, yeah, a pair of jeans. Okay, so hang with me. I, I usually have all this stuff pulled already, but yeah, I was kind of frazzled with my migraine this morning. So let's see. This won't take but a second here. Hang with me. One, two, three, two. Here's a t-shirt and I'll show it to you more in depth here. I'm going to grab the uh, Poshmark sale. Poshmark sale. Poshmark sale was a pair of Merrill boots. I got these on retail arbitrage uh, for less than 30 bucks. The brand new women's boots. So this is my last pair. I got like four pair of them. This is the last ones. So I got that label printed out in the oh I forgot the jeans. The shirt here. This is a vintage from the 80s. Check out this tag. Pull up my OBS. You have the outer tag there, made in USA. 
and underneath you have the fruit of the loom tag the large tag is a little, the top tag is a little loose which I've denoted this is a Fantasia shirt I had so many people wanting this shirt really cool but it sold yesterday for 50 bucks such vibrant colors on it too it's just such a good condition I had probably 30 offers for 20 to 30 dollars and not turn them down because just because I thought this was kind of special and eventually somebody paid the price for it 50 bucks That was my, uh, that was my minimum because I had it listed for like 65 or so. And I was like, I'm, somebody offers 50, I'll take it. And that's what happened. but it's actually nine I'm at work this is going to Texas so first class four dollars and 18 cents no problem okay my Donald Duck mug Hobbs you being be an honorary today sold yesterday we talked about the uh, the broken cat so right after I get through with this I'll message the uh, customer asking if they want to cancel or if they still want it just like Glenn and I talked about um, yeah but we had the uh, yeah, quite a wide variety I'll, I'll have to print out that label for Poshmark and get that slapped on there not a big deal all right uh, Steven, I'm, this is too late now, but yeah, Steven asked how much is it? It was 80 bucks for the GameCube. Rummage for Riches. Uh, this week has been video game items, makeup, wine shirts, and collectibles. Hey, it's pretty good wide variety. Hodgepodge for me, it's been, like I said, video games, puzzles, out the wazoo. Almost all my puzzle inventory is gone. And uh, I was surprised with some of the other stuff that it sold, too. <laughs> my wife just texted me said wow this coffee isn't that good sorry <laughs> I think it's fine <laughs> uh, yeah let me see here well, Stephen said I should do it but I, I think it'll be okay my my rule of thumb is a hundred dollars but like I said with Amazon I don't Amazon I don't even know if, with I know with eBay uh, signature confirmation carries some weight but with Amazon I think if someone wants to return something you're stuck anyway or if they you know I don't know I just don't sell enough on Amazon Uncle Warren said uh, I have run out of inventory I purged my death pile due to lack of storage space now I need it oh yeah it's, you can't see in the future you know like I was talking about on a video a few days ago with the puzzle thing like I knew all those months and years I was buying puzzles and they, they would sell, but you know, I'd maybe sell six, eight a year, you know? So I was like, ah, should I buy them? Should I not? They're just piling up all this stuff. And then this happened and boom, they're all gone. It's not like I could see the future. It's just, I thought unopened puzzles was pretty cool. Cause I like doing puzzles myself and, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Come here, buddy. My helper. What you doing, buddy? Wanna say hi? Look. 
You may have to treat your eyeball. He gets this little, it's not pink eye necessarily, but he gets a little thing with his eye he has since he was a kitten. We just have this stuff to treat it. Him and his brother both. It's like a herpes or something. I don't know. Well, good morning, Kent. How are you doing this morning? We just got through packaging up our stuff, so make sure you go back and watch, Kent. But uh, some pretty good stuff sold yesterday. Uh, let me see here. Rummage for Riches says, Sourcing opportunities are getting scarce around here. Even our main source, which is storage unit auctions, are now shutting down. But our shop is full, so we're good for now. Well, that's awesome, man. That was what was fortuitous, fortuitous about our move. And it was... I had already had everything moved when this stuff happened. So, and I had plenty in my back stock, plenty of stuff. I'm still listing stuff every day, but I have emptied a lot of bins <laughs> listing stuff. I've listed tons of stuff the past few weeks. So yeah, it's a, I don't know. I guess it's been good and bad. It's, I mean, I really look forward to thrifting and garage selling, which that I would have already kicked up by now, but uh, I don't know. It's good that getting this stuff, this back stock listed as well. So Cheers to that, right? I guess my, uh, you know, we talked about the things that are selling really well. What has really, really slowed down for me is clothing, of course, because um, no one, everybody's sitting at home. They're not thinking about buying clothing. Um, but, you know, that is what it is. It's about, that's about half my inventory. There's the helper kitty. But uh, like I said, I'm going to list about five things today. I just uh, got to pick out what I'm going to do. I may test some electronics and get those tested. I have some flatbed, flatbed scanners, which sell surprisingly okay. Uh, you think kind of an older tech like that wouldn't sell that well. But like I have this one right here. In the box is Canon. Cano scan. I only paid $5 for this. And it's not brand new, but it's in the box, which that helps. So I'm going to get that uh, tested out and uh, get that listed today. Because this is a kind of a higher level scanner that does like negatives. Like remember pictures back when we actually had cameras that had film. It'll uh, scan negatives and do all that fancy stuff. And I have a few more HP flatbed scanners without the box out there. So I need to get those listed up. Rummage Richards ever get cat fur stuck in the tape? <laughs> every once in a while. Yeah. Every once in a while. But I'm pretty careful with it. And, yep. And Hobbs is not a big shedder. His brother Gatsby is, but his brother Gatsby's long hair and he doesn't hang out here that much like Hobbs does. Out of our three cats, Hobbs is the one that's down here all the time with me. He's the, he's my big helper. Uh, they have Rummage Riches have two cats and if it if I pack inside the house, I'm always trying to wipe our cat for the poly millers. Yeah, I do over on my shelving with my, uh, shipping supplies and stuff. I always keep my poly millers and stuff up high where they can't get to them, like high enough where they can't jump up to them. So they're not laying on them. Like you said, and the static electricity getting the fur stuck to them. So yeah, I have all my cardboard and stuff on the lower shelves, but even on the cardboard, you know, has that rough edge on a cardboard box. You'll see a tuft of fur and it's like, oh, cat's been up here, but you just run finger across it and get it off. And part of the joy of a uh, pet ownership. Yep. All right. So what are we at here? Oh, 39 minutes. Okay. We're going to wrap it up for today. I want to thank all, all you guys for uh, popping in who we have. We had Glenn was in here for a little bit, Dan, Melissa, Randy, Jennifer, rummage rummage for riches uncle warren steven thank all you guys for uh popping in here and participating we appreciate it and uh hopefully we'll, well we've already sold one item today so hopefully we we'll sell more and we'll do another one tomorrow morning so see you guys then peace <laughs>